Hi everyone, bienvenidos. Welcome to our city. I'm the mayor and my job is to lead our city and help all the citizens who live here. I can't wait to show you around and introduce you to some of the everyday heroes who make this city amazing. But first, would you like to see some of my favorite places? Yes! Great! The map will help us to see all the amazing places around our city. Let's take a look now. Okay, do you see the star on the map? Yes! The star on the map always tells us where we are. And right now, we're in the park. In our city, we also have a school and a hospital. Oh, and of course, my favorite donut shop. There are so many exciting things to see and do around our city, but the best part is the people you will meet. Hey, would you like to explore the city with me and meet some of the people who live and work here? Yes! Well, great! Before we hop on the bus and go exploring, you need to know our two city rules. Rule numero uno is to be kind. Let me see all of you hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be kind. That's it. You can be kind by staying quiet and listening while others are talking. If you can be kind by listening and staying quiet, let me hear you say, shh. Shh. Good job. Now, rule numero dos is to be safe. Let me see all of you hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be safe. You got it. You can be safe by keeping your hands to yourself as we explore the city. Let's all clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Ready? Clap, 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 clap. Put, put your, your hands, hands in, in your lap. lap. Perfecto. Now we're ready to explore the city. Today, we are going to visit our city's newest building project. Let's see if you can figure out which one of these everyday heroes we will meet at the construction site. Our first hero is a police officer who works hard to keep all the citizens in our city safe. Our second hero is a chef who cooks lots of yummy food for our citizens to enjoy. And our third hero is a construction worker who helps build lots of buildings around our city. Which one of these heroes do you think we will see at the construction site? A construction worker. That's right. The construction workers are busy building a new animal clinic for all of the pets in our city. Oh, the city bus is here. Let's hop on and go meet one of the construction workers. Everyone, roll your arms around like the wheels on the bus and sing with me. Hello everyone, my name is Construction Cory, and I'm a construction worker here in our city. My job is to help build exciting new places for our citizens. Construction sites are very busy and can be very dangerous if I'm not wearing the special things that keep me safe while I do my job. Like my helmet that protects my head and my tool belt that keeps my tools close by for when I need them. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day and it's more powerful than anything else. It's called the armor of God. My tool belt is handy for working here on construction site, but I can't do anything without the belt of truth from God's armor. It helps me know the difference between lies, tricks, and the truth. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to put on the belt of truth and all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all. Put on all of God's of God's armor armor Ephesians 6:11 Ephesians 6:11 That's it Here in the city we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day Stand up and sing it now The armor of God fits good on it makes me strong as I can be. 
I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me Put on the belt of truth My good news boots Getting dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on My salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me of truth, my good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go, the shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know, with all my might, I'll do what's right, with the armor of godliness, my helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me The armor of God fits good on me Great job singing that song. Go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the spirit. The Bible is the sword of the spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. zoop. In the Bible, there's a true story about Adam and Eve. Let me see you wave hello to Adam and Eve. Great job! Adam and Eve lived in God's special garden called the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve were friends with God, and He gave them everything they needed, including lots of yummy fruit from trees in the garden. There was only one tree that God said they were not allowed to eat from. Now, there was also a tricky snake in the garden. Friends, let me hear you hiss like a snake. You sound just like a snake. Well, this snake was not like snakes we might see slither across the construction site. This snake could talk, and it was Adam and Eve's enemy. One day, it asked Eve, Did God really say you must not eat fruit from any tree in the garden? Eve told the snake that God said they could eat from all the trees except one. The snake was trying to trick Eve by telling her a lie. He told her that she could eat from this tree. The snake wanted Eve to forget what God had said so that she would do what was wrong. Boys and girls, do you think that Eve should eat the fruit from this special tree? No! No way! But the fruit on the tree did look very yummy. Eve thought about what God had said, but she decided to believe the lie of the tricky snake, so she ate the fruit. Eve also gave some of the fruit to her husband, Adam, who was with her, and he ate it too. Boys and girls, was believing the enemy's lie the right thing or the wrong thing for Adam and Eve to do? The wrong thing! You got it! Because they believed the lie of their enemy and not the true words of God, Adam and Eve had to leave God's special garden. You see, Adam and Eve did not have on their belt of truth. The belt of truth helps us remember the true things that God tells us in the Bible. If they would have put on the belt of truth, they would have known the snake was being tricky by telling lies. Every time we put on God's armor, we have the power to be an everyday hero. And when we put on the belt of truth, we can remember God's truth and stand strong against any lies or tricks. 
So let me hear you say this after me. Put on. Put on. The belt of truth. The belt of truth. You've got it. When you put on all of God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Gracias. Thanks, Construction Quarry. I'm so glad that we got to visit the construction site today and that you all got to meet Construction Quarry. He taught us so much about the belt of truth and how when we put it on, we can remember the true things that God tells us in the Bible and stand strong against lies and tricks. Oh look, the city bus is here to take us back to the park. This time, let's play a game on the bus as we head back. Let's play red light, green light. When you see the green light, jump up and down as fast as you can. But when the light turns yellow, jump up and down slow. And when the light turns red, stop. Everybody ready? Yes. Get on your feet and let's play. Great job. Let's play again. Here we go. Good job. Let's play one more time. Here we go. You did it! That was so much fun! Wow! We made it back to the park in no time at all playing that fun game. You can go ahead and take a seat. Boys and girls, do you hear that? Yes! That sound means that someone needs our help. Would you all like to help? Yes! Great! Let's check in and see who it is. It looks like Trey needs our help today. Trey wants to build a tall tower, but the blocks keep falling over. Boys and girls, does Trey look happy or sad? Sad! That's right! Trey is sad, and he is starting to believe the lie he hears in his head that says, you can't do anything right. But wait! Construction Corey told us a story from the Bible about two people who were also tricked by a lie. Boys and girls, who lied to Adam and Eve? A tricky monkey or a tricky snake? A tricky snake! You got it! Adam and Eve believed the tricky snake's lie. Do you think Trey should believe the lie that he can't do anything? No! No way! God tells us in His Word that we can do all things with help from Jesus. And Trey needs to remember this truth. It looks like Trey has most of God's armor on, but he is missing one important piece. Which piece of God's armor is Trey missing? The shield of faith or the belt of truth? The belt of truth. That's it. Trey needs his belt of truth to remember God's words and know that they are true. Then he can stand strong against the lie in his head. I think we need to remind Trey to put on the belt of truth. Let's all tell him together. Say this after me. Put on. Put on. The belt of truth. The belt of truth. Look at that. Trey put on the belt of truth and now he's an everyday hero, just like Construction Corey. God's armor will help Trey remember the true things God tells us in the Bible and how we can stand strong against lies and tricks. Gracias! Thank you so much for all of your help with Trey today. God's armor helps us all to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard to do. And there's a song we can sing to help us remember not to give up. Stand up and sing with me.
can all take a seat now. As you leave our city today, remember to put on the belt of truth. Let me hear you say this after me one more time. Put on. Put on. The belt of truth. The belt of truth. You got it. It's time for me to go, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Adios. Bye-bye.